All right, hello from <laughs> on the go. Um, I'm literally standing outside right now recording this video, but today's training of the teacher challenge was about LinkedIn marketing and how you approach people. And I have to say, <laughs> I've been very discouraged today because it's about, you know, how you, yeah, how, <laughs> It's the same thing that everyone is doing these days, people that connect with you, that nurture, and then that eventually want to sell you something. And I'm always aware of that process when I see people online and I know that they're doing this. And I know that if people say, hey, what's up? How can I help you? Can you describe your situation? <laughs> that eventually they want to make a sale. And it's just hurtful knowing that people, you know, message you sounding so genuinely interested in your problems but then in the end all they have in mind is basically selling you something right so if you're not sure what I'm talking about basically the way you connect and sell these days is that you first follow somebody on Instagram or on LinkedIn then you shoot them a message can I help you somehow then you nurture meaning you provide some free content on your platform you show them that you have expertise they get to know you better, they get to like you, and then in the end you try to convert them into a paying customer. And I know this is the process, and I can see that it works because people are doing it. In my head it still feels sleazy, um, especially the part where basically you're not supposed to say how much you're charging for your service upfront. And many people are doing this, right? You write to them and they say, hey, yeah, let's not talk about the price right now. Let's first figure out what I can do for you. And it does matter to a lot of people. They're saying, ah, if people really love you, they will pay for it. But I'm also somebody who's not like super wealthy and who cannot afford to pay that much for a kind of services. So. If the price doesn't matter, no matter how good the program is, then I will not be able to pay for it, right? No matter how much I trust the person and no matter how, um, yeah, competent I believe they are. So why would I waste my time with somebody who spends so much time on me messaging me, creating content and all of this if I know that in the end I cannot afford the product? So I'm a bit, yeah, on the fence right now, but I wanted to share my honest opinion and see if anyone else has any thoughts of this. Because yes, sales is hard and I just don't want to become that salesy person. I still have the genuine interest to help people and I'm just hoping, I don't know right now whether, yeah, this will be possible to really showcase this. So let's see. Um, share this video with somebody who might need to hear it who's in the same situation. All right, give me a comment and then, yeah, let's start a conversation about this.